Today we are making a video on Circle Linux 9.1. This is the boot menu of uh, Circle Linux. Let's try to install Circle Linux 9.1. It may take few seconds. If the ISO file is not corrupted and the file size is around 9 GB. It should be available soon. A minimal uh, ISO file will be like 2 GB or 2 and a half GB. I downloaded the DVD version which is around 9 GB of file size. If you are on a limited uh, internet connection just go with the minimal version if you have unlimited bandwidth or inter unlimited internet you can go with the dvd uh, iso file just a few more seconds I think we should see a mouse pointer. Here is our mouse, uh, mouse pointer working properly or uh, without uh, glitches or lag. Here is our installation or a welcome screen. First you need to choose your language. They added few languages here almost like 30 languages. You can choose your own language here. I am just going to pick English and English United States. Let's click on continue. Here is our installation summary. You need to complete all these things in order to install or begin the installation. We won't touch your disk until you click begin installation. As you can see, let's try. This is our keyboard. Let's keep that like that media same thing installation destination i have a 40 gb i am using in a vmware with a 40 gb hard disk and 4 gb ram with two processors click on done here is my language software selection choose anything you want if you want workstation you can choose workstation and additional software for selected environment you can choose these things I'm going with workstation, click on done, kdump is enabled, time and date, choose anything you want, I'll choose America Los Angeles, click on done, network and host, you can choose anything you want, add, if you want you, you can add it here, if you want you can keep the root password. I'll choose a root password. I'll put it simply 12345. Type it in again here 12345. Block root account, allow root SSH. Login with password. Simple, if you have a simple password, it's going to say click two times. So if everything is uh, not highlighted, you will get a highlighted of begin installation here with a blue highlighted thing let's click on begin installation it may take few few time almost like 20 minutes i guess i'll come back later As you can see our installation progress is complete now. 
you need to reboot your system let's click on your reboot system it takes few seconds and we will have our clear linux 9.1 installed on our pc we don't get a live mode in this thing it takes like 30 to 40 seconds nearly I think we should see a mouse pointer now in a few seconds but it's still blinking on the left side top corner I don't know how much time it takes to load up so let's just wait for a few seconds here is our loading This is my first time of trying clear Linux. We should be having our desktop now, if I'm right. Uh, just a few seconds to load all the things. It automatically changes the resolution. Welcome to Circle Linux 9.1. I think I said Clear Linux accidentally, but it is Circle Linux. I don't know, I forgot, but it is Circle Linux. If I said it correctly before, no problem. If I said uh, Clear Linux instead of Circle Linux, I'm sorry for that. You need to set up your username and full name. Let's type in our full name. You can choose anything you want. I'm just type I'm just going to type unboxing and click on next. You need to put in your password. I'll just put the simple password. It's going to give me a warning. It's a simple and weak password. I'm just going to ignore because it's a VMware and you shouldn't put the simple password if you are using uh, it on main PC or a work PC. I'm just going to delete the uh, virtualization file or VMware file after this. So I'm, I'm just using 12345 for the password. Don't use a simple password. I think it's finished now. We should have our applications and the desktop environment. Here is our desktop environment. Welcome to the Circle Linux. If you want to take a tour, you can take a tour. Let's just run through fast. Start the tour. Start it. Get an overview. Click on next. Make apps on your own. Keep on top with workspace, up and down for the overview. You need to have the, uh, it's only for laptop, so all these things works on laptop. I have a laptop, but I'm using a wireless keyboard right now. If you want, here is our calendar. Let's first open the system monitor before running any apps. These are the pre-installed apps, which comes with Circle Linux nothing more but the file size is around 9 GB let's open the system monitor and see the resources consuming before running any apps it is taking a good time to load some apps just for system monitor it's taking like almost 30 seconds it didn't show up but it's in the activities folder 
or activities no problem let's maximize this thing and check the version before uh, going through all this thing version is 40.1 which is old version here are all the processes running let's go to the resources and choose different color so you can look clearly cpus are running around below 20 percent or 15 percent you can say it because no apps are pre-installed it's going to show this percentage right now uh, ram is around 1.5 gb that's more if you are having a 2 gb of ram so it's hard to use i guess without any apps it's running around 1.5 gb of 4 gb ram as you can look here I think it's not for a low-end PC or an old PC. I'm running on 12th gen uh, iFi. Let's open terminal and check the version. GNOME version 3.40.3 .3 or for GNOME 40. Let's type in few commands. INXI Command not found. No problem. Let's see the kernel version. Kernel is 5.14, which is old version still. Uh, let's type in head stop now. It's available. It's not available, so let's exist this thing and run through few apps. Let's first check the desktop background or change the desktop background. We have like around 10 wallpapers again it's a gnome so everything is maximize gnome gnome version is 40.4.0 operating system is circle linux 9 wayland i'm running on vmware this is my processor 12th gen i5 here is my memory and you can change it uh, change the device name anything you want and these are the common things in the gnome desktop environment so let's just go through fast it's completely common and same so let's speed up this thing printers keyboard again same natural scrolling displays power screen i'm going to put never sound on the sound same thing sharing online accounts privacy turn off camera microphone you need to turn off location uh, camera and microphone because you just uh, need to enable only when you are using it uh, when you are not using it just disable it it's good for privacy uh, again same thing multitasking everything is same in the gnome version so nothing is changed and these are the desktop features few desktop features activities let's check the file manager version it will be 40.2 Here is our app store. If you want, you can install it from the app store. If you don't want uh, from the app store, you can just type in the commands to download these things. Let's quickly check the version of some of the apps. Evolution version is 3.40. Cheese version will be 3.38.0. Disk usage manager 40. I don't want to open the apps and show the version so we can just see it here I have a GNOME 40.3 this is just for the people who want the version what version installed in the uh, Linux distro of Circle Linux so here are the versions I showed the file manager already a calculator version will be 40.1 color manager 
3.36.0 GNOME Disk 40.2 Screenshot 40.0 Troubleshooter 3.3.28 Assured almost everything Videos 3.38.2 Again it comes with uh, a few pre-installed apps So if you want you can install it There is no updates it says no internet connection you need to set up before uh, while installing so I didn't set up that so we don't have internet connection now as you can see I will show you there is no internet connection there will be not internet con no internet connection you need to choose that in the installation process and I'm running it on uh, my internet is on Wi-Fi so it says no internet connection no problem let's check the version and end this video here the version is 102.5 that's it I think let's check the system monitor and end this video here 1.6 GB a RAM is uh, too much without opening uh, any apps I think it's not uh, uh, suitable for uh, a low-end PC it is from my side so maybe it would should work I don't know but a low-end PCs will be with the 2 GB or 4 GB of RAM sometimes and with the Intel Pentium, I don't know it runs good or not. I think it doesn't work properly because it's a heavyweight Linux distro. So if you want to choose, you can choose it, no problem. If you want to test it, you need to install it because you can't uh, run it on a live mode. You need to compulsory install it and check it works or not for you. Again, I think that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.